Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. <laughs> Christmas came early, ladies and gentlemen. Leonhart decided to drop the biggest stinky pile of video I have ever seen. I'm done. I haven't even started the video yet, but I can already tell you he is not done. That's whenever a creator uses the title I'm done, it quite literally means the opposite of that and that they are not done. But I'll save the rest of my predictions. First, let's just get into what I'm sure is going to be a bunch of online panhandling. I'm done. Just like Ash is leaving Pokemon to start a new journey, I've decided I'd like to start one myself. Don't compare yourself to Ash. You are nothing like Ash, okay? I hate when he does this. You are not Ash, okay? How dare? How dare you? Oh my gosh. Cringe. Anyways. But with y'all, I've been doing YouTube for almost a decade now. Been through the ups and downs. Oh, uh, those older vids of Leon Hartman. Oh, those were good. I, I, I honestly kind of missed that. Uh, he used to make good vids. I used to like his vids, man. Kind of what, you know, I, a lot of people got back into the, despite what anybody might say, a lot of people got back into the hobby because of this man and those older vids. It's just these recent vids have just been ass, bro. They've just been straight toilet water, bro. Oh my God. The begging, the algorithm chasing, just everything about it has just been awful. Awful. Anyways, let's go. Meeting incredible people in the community. I even quit being an attorney to open up Pokemon cards full time. In L, that's a skill issue. In fact, it's been an amazing 10 years. Oh, 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 I can't stand that, bro. Oh, look, I want you to look at the screen. Tell me what's wrong. I can't fucking stand it. He's off center. Oh my God, bro. I've seen so many people watch this. His whole setup is off center. I, I, this is proof right now. I need to go to the FBI with this. This man is a psychopath. I cannot stand this, bro. Look at his head. It's in between the red and the blue. There's six boxes up there. You need to be in between th the third and the fourth. Leon Hart, bro, this is a travesty. You need to move between the red and the yellow boxes. You need to be on center. That's the, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this video. Oh my, that is so irritating. It's like staring at Tom Cruise's teeth right now. I can't stand it. It's so off center. I got to grow with y'all. I met and married my wonderful wife, Rebecca. W. I even had a kid. W. As a shy and introverted person, I never would have dreamed that this journey would take me to where I am today. And not a single day goes by without myself taking time to be grateful for this opportunity. Oh, that's fucking cap, dude. This man literally takes minutes out of each of his video to remind you to like and subscribe and go watch his other videos. I've never seen any other YouTuber chase the algorithm as hard as this dude does, at least within the Pokemon space. Oh my, that is such bullshitting, bro. Emotional manipulation. ...where I'm at today. <laughs> that being said, it's time to evolve. 10 years, I've been posting videos on YouTube. Used to be <laughs> over seven videos a week, then five, then four, then finally coming down to three. Once again, skill issue. For the past- PokeRev does it, all right? People, uh, people do it, dude. I hate when he brings this up. Oh, I guarantee you he's gonna go about, talk about stress, talk about how, dude, if you can't do it, that's fine. You don't owe anybody content. You don't have to make content. But quit complaining about it like it's the worst thing in the world. You get paid to do it, dude. Your job is literally to make content. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Take a fucking vacation and get back to the grind, dude. Okay? Do what normal people do. Go take some days off. But the last thing you should do as a content creator is make your audience feel bad about you because you have a privileged position and where you don't have to work a normal job. You can sit at home and edit videos and open fucking Pokemon cards, dude. You earn that position by yourself. Congrats to you. And you deserve it for earning it. But how fucking dare you just like try and make people feel bad about it. Like, oh, I have stress, anxiety, blah, 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 blah. And I just, oh, I just, I, please follow me. Please give me likes. Just, you know, watch my older videos. It helps me out. I just... You know, it, I just have so much stress about putting out the videos. Cry me the fucking ocean, bro. I don't care. No one cares. No one owes you anything. 
last couple of years now, and it was essentially a new week, a new set of videos that would go out. And during that essentially 10 year span, I haven't taken one break. It Not your audience's fault. You don't need to bring that up every fucking video, bro. Stop bringing it up. No one cares. It's not our job to like track your mental health. If you need help and you want to reach out to somebody, obviously, but it is not a content creator's audience's job to ensure that they are being taken care of. All right. And to sit back and think to myself, my goodness, I have been doing this each and every single day, at least as far as either recording, brainstorming, editing, because I was doing literally everything. I'm, I want you guys to imagine this, right? I, okay, I work, right? I go, I, I work, I go home. Imagine I'm, and you guys might have actually experienced this. You know, I, I experienced this growing up a bit. Imagine your parents work an extremely hard job, right? It's, it's, it's a tough job. I'm not saying Leon Hart's video is, Leon Hart's job is extremely hard, but just, just bear with me, all right? They work an extremely hard job, and, they, and because they work that hard job, they're able to provide for you, right? You live a good life because your parents work hard. But every day when they come home, they remind you, like, just so you know, you have a good life because I work hard. Because I take my time. I don't get to enjoy my day. And then you get to enjoy yours because I'm the one working hard. It takes the meaning of them working hard for you and just throws it out the window, man. And it's still nice that they're providing a good life for you, but they're making you feel bad about it. What's the point of doing something good for somebody if you're going to make them feel bad for it? That's exactly what he's doing right here. Stop me. <sighs> I don't know. It's just like a comparison thing to me. I hate emotional manipulation and people trying to make you feel bad for their gain. Oh, it just pisses me off. Even editing up until the year 2020 when I finally started getting an actual editor to help me out with things. I know that was completely on me. Oh, uh, I just don't like his smile. I don't, it just feels off-putting. It's like getting close to the uncanny valley. I don't know. It just, I don't like it. That being said, I never took a break. And it finally hit me. I know I'm laughing more of like in disbelief because it finally hit me that I was just doing too many things, too many projects. And it got to where a new week would come. I just want to take a point. We're two minutes in and I still have no idea why the title is I'm done. I like, I, I get the feeling he's not going to tell us what I'm done means until the end of the video because he wants to, you know, get algorithm points. He wants to get, you know, people to watch the entire video. I just something I'm noticing. Like I'm trying to keep track of that. Too many things, too many projects. And it got to where a new week would come. And if you were not hitting those right type of algorithmic type of trends or things, not that I ever really tried doing those. I always liked just opening up vintage packs and going to the stores and doing my own type of thing. But that being said, if you... That's such bullshit. That's literally all, <coughs> all that you do. Really didn't go all in with those types of things. Chasing that algorithm, for instance, you know, it wasn't as successful. That's where I really kind of lost my passion for it. Aha! An omission of guilt. Um, see, that's... Reflect on that feeling, bro. Think about that. You lost your passion because you're chasing the algorithm. You literally just admitted it. And yet you're... And, oh my god. It's like watching someone shoot themselves in the foot and be like, Ouch, that hurts. Why does that hurt? <clears throat> He's literally talking about how he lost his passion because he's chasing an algorithm, and then he has a title, I'm done. Like, where does he not make the connection? It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to see that, oh my. And this is why he's, he's so ungenuine. He's such a liar. He's such a manipulator. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh dude, this is, this is bad, man. This is so bad. And I still wouldn't put out a video if I wasn't proud of it, but it still, to me, felt like I was putting out videos just to put out videos because of the algorithm and I kind of lost my creativity and passion with it with hitting the wall well yeah you did lose your creativity obviously you lost your passion um and you you can keep doing it you're just doing it like <coughs> like I I don't understand I don't understand what the point of this is
because you're still doing it. And so here we are. But these past 10 years have been incredible. The things that we have done together as a community have been incredible. The things that we are going to do together are going to be incredible. And I'm not making this video, I'm not talking today to let you know that I'm quitting or for a fact of that matter that I'm even taking a break. Wrap it up. Come on, let's get out of here. What the fuck was the point of this video, dude? Why are we here? What? There it is. Three minutes, 23 seconds in. Wasting everybody's time, dude. Come on. Could have just started with that. What? Great. I have not been. In fact, I have been hard at work for so long trying to get to this single point that is literally today, this video that I am recording. And I have to tell y'all, it is one of the scariest things that I've ever done. Cap, I bet paranormal activity is scarier. This isn't that scary. I don't think it's gonna be scary. As saying from somebody that literally just got punched in the face today while I was practicing for boxing, because I will be doing a boxing match, but I digress. And here's our sponsors, Creator Clash. Also, Raid Shadow Legends. Make sure you check them out. Posting this video because this is my accountability. This is my discipline. This is myself taking and executing that action of getting into what is going to be a new direction with my channel. And the new direction is thus. As you know, I've been doing regular unboxings here in the studio. Not being effectively able to really evolve as much as I'd like to do, that's on me with trying to be very present and available for family and various other projects and things that I got going on. That being said, here is my plan and I would love for y'all as the Heart Squad, as the community, for anyone else watching to come with me on this new journey through the ups, through the downs. Get to the fucking point, dude. Oh my God. I got shit to do. Huh. Dude, just tell us what it is. Instead of posting three videos a week. Right oh my God. One video a week. I guarantee he's going to say one video a week. Just take a vacation, bro. Oh my, you, dude. Going down the, the dumpster, bro. Just, uh, just flushing his channel down the drain, dude. Guarantee one, one or two videos a week. Well, I mean, nah, I think he's going to say one video. Leon Hart, bro, come on, man. Come on. It doesn't matter how many videos a week you do if you don't change the videos that you're doing. And I don't mean like, you know, uh, whatever, dude. Let's just go. I don't. Regular unboxings in here. And I'm not completely going away from that, so hang with me. I have been working on and will be releasing extremely or at least i'd like to think so more well thought out uh high quality videos that obviously have to do with pokemon and pokemon cards but it's not unless the leaf's already doing it bro he's already doing it you're copying a formula that's already been done dude we don't want you to change everything we want you to go back bro I guarantee you he's going to go to like big Pokemon related things like card factories or like community events or just shit like that. I don't know. And then <clears throat> make some big stink about it once a week. So instead of getting, you know, a couple videos out, a lot of videos out per week that just get a couple views. Instead, he's going to try and put a one big video out that gets a lot of views, a lot of likes. Because um, number one, that takes, you know, less work. You're not editing three videos. You're just editing one longer video. But the problem is that's already been, that's already happening. All right. Unlisted Leaf already does shit like that. Yeah, he still opens shit, but he already does, you know, fewer posts, but with bigger vids. I mean, there's a lot of people doing that. Now they think about it. Unlisted Leaf, Deep Pocket Monster. It's like he realized he was losing to other people like Rev and is just giving up and just going on to something else. Bro, just go back in time a little bit. Go watch your older videos. Do that. That's what got you so popular. And once you got this popularity, you start doing boring shit, bro. No one's asking you to change your entire channel. We just want you to reflect. Stop chasing the al algorithms. Stop asking for people to carry your entire channel. Just put more love into your channel. That's all anybody's asking.
not going to just be myself in here. It's going to be involving y'all. It's going to be ideas that I've had for years that I finally have more time and resources, or at least will be devoting more time and resources to, to be doing these new type of higher quality videos. And I'm thinking they'll be coming out every week and a half to two weeks. It may be. Damn. Damn. Week and a half to two weeks. Oh, wow. That's. You know, I'm going to save my judgment. I'm actually going to save my judgment on this one. If they are actually high quality, good, entertaining vids, then I'm down for it. I'm, I'm here for it. I, at least there would be more passion in it than what he's been push, putting out. You know what I mean? I'm okay with it. It's still bugging the fuck out of me that he's off center. Oh, I cannot stand it. But, you know, I'm reserved. I, I'm, I'm going to save my judgment. Um, we'll wait until these videos come out. I'll let you guys know my opinion on them. Uh, but I am very skeptical, kind of happy he's stopping what he's doing because it just wasn't going anywhere. He's getting beat by pretty much every other major PokeTuber, which is a total 360 from how it used to be. This man used to throw up the big numbers, bro. He used to be the top dog. Woo, woo. And now he's just kind of a joke, bro. So, you know, I, you know, hopefully these do work out. Hopefully they are higher quality. Um, I think he got passed up by Rev, kind of realized that he was losing at his own game. Like, Rev is just outclassing him in everything. Not only Rev, just even smaller PokeTubers right now are outclassing you, Leonhart. I'll, I'll save my judgment. We'll see. Be longer, it may be shorter. That's where this new direction is going to let me know, especially how y'all um, are receptive to them. But at the same time... Oh, fuck. What a fucker, bro. Especially how y'all are... He's putting it on his audience again. Uh, you know, You know, I'll do these videos, but we'll see how you guys act towards it. Stop doing that, bro. Stop it. That's literally what you were just talking about. Make videos that you like. Make videos that you enjoy. That's the whole point of it, bro. He's gonna, it's going to be more of the same. It's going to be more of the same. It's just, you know, he's going to do whatever gets him the most views, whatever gets him the most like. Oh, it's so... Uh, I get it to a certain degree. Obviously, you want your videos to perform, makes you money, lets you make bigger videos. I get it. I understand that. But when that becomes everything, when that's your just main focus and not actually, you know, putting quality and love into your videos and making something that you're proud of, that's when you've lost your way. I'm doing these videos because these are videos that I feel more creative and passionate about, not just to do them to satisfy some sort of algorithm or sorts. Obviously, it is extremely important that y'all, yourselves as the audience, are you know just as excited about these videos as i am oh uh, i mean he kind of said it in a different way there yeah okay i agree with that i hope that's what he was meaning to say before you know what i mean uh, so that's yes that's what i want him to say stay on that keep doing that but i don't want to just put out a video to put out a video these are ones that I and my team are gonna work on so, so hard. I just wanna to continue to grow as a creator, as a person, and I think this is the best route. That being said, I'm also gonna be live streaming, finally, yes, I know. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's respectable. You know, sometimes you gotta change things up, you gotta stay loose. You know, you gotta, new, you gotta do new things sometimes. Uh... I think as long as he ditches the whole fucking attitude of putting it on his community, which I don't think he's going to ditch because it just kind of seems like the kind of person he is. You know what I mean? Um, I think he'll be golden, but, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. So I am hoping that y'all tune in for the new higher quality videos, the live streams. Please be part of those because those hopefully be a lot of fun. And then I'm also still occasionally going to be doing update it hopefully better quality type of regular unboxings as well but only if it's for a very special new set or a very type of like i know that y'all are truly gonna enjoy those types bro was probably ripping through his sealed collection just like what am i doing this for bro i'm not getting the numbers dude was ripping thousands of dollars of packs per video you know these videos have to perform a lot of people don't understand that about PokeTubers, man if you're not making money from your video you're just you know ripping sealed collection for literally no reason PokeTuber is not an easy thing to be, man, uh, especially when you're doing unboxings because, like, literally, the entire video could be a couple hundred dollars. For someone small like me, bro, and, you know, this isn't pandering or anything like that. Don't feel bad about it. Like, I love doing it. I'm just filming my hobby. I'm going to do it anyways. Might as well get it on camera, you know what I mean? But it's expensive, man. A lot of people don't think about that. You know, from a, the PokeTuber 
perspective, it's fucking expensive, man. Pokemon cards are not cheap. Even for somebody like Leonhart, who probably makes, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars off of his, uh, you know, YouTube, like, you know, the shit that he rips is expensive as fuck. You know, he opens someone's entire car in one video out of pa out of just packs, man. So yeah, that's gotta add up. Uh, obviously he wants to perform, I get that. Just put more heart into your video, man. That's really what it comes down to. Stop pandering for, for views. Stop chasing algorithm. I think a lot of people, and I think especially sometimes I kind of feed into the fire of Leonhardt's a terrible person. I don't think he's a terrible person. I just wanna add that in there. I don't think Leonhardt at his core is a terrible person. I think he's done shitty things. But a lot of people have done shitty things. A lot of your favorite PokeTubers, I bet, have done a lot of shitty things. I personally know a lot of shitty things that your favorite PokeTubers have done. Literally, think of your favorite PokeTuber right now. I bet I know who it is. I bet you I know a shitty thing that they've done. Besides Reb, honestly. I, I don't know anything about Reb. Reb seems like just a fucking really genuine good dude. Not saying he's perfect. Obviously, he's probably done shitty things. But the point is, everybody does shitty things. I'm not going to watch any more of this video. I kind of get the whole point. Um, at the end of the day... I guess I don't really have that much to say about it. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, I, I kind of knew what this video was going to be, if I'm being honest. Uh, really nothing special. Yeah, Leon Hart is moving on to do something else because what he's doing isn't working. I think we all kind of saw that coming. I've been saying for a while that he should rebrand. But as far as the type of content he's going to put out, I think people are judging him way too early. It could be good. It, it could be good. Leon Hart does, he has put out really good content before. Hopefully these newer, bigger videos are less of the pandering, less of the bullshit, and more like actual high quality content that he has put out in the past. I would love to see that. It is kind of weird that he's moving away from unboxings because that's been his whole, that's been his entire thing. You know what I mean? That's literally what Leon Hart has been for the longest time is just an unboxing channel. So I guess we'll see where we go from here. It kind of sounds like he's going to start doing more of what, you know, Unlisted Leaf has started to do. Not that Unlisted Leaf has stopped doing unboxing. Obviously, he's still doing those, but he just put out bigger videos and stuff like that with like community, stuff like that. So, so I think that's probably what we could expect from him going forward. But, you know, only time will tell. Anyways, that's my take, guys. Hopefully that was entertaining. Uh, it's still off center, it's still pissing me off, so I have to close this vid out. I'm sorry, I can't stand it one more second. I have a huge project in the works this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm collabing with some other creators. It's gonna be good. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's gonna be so good. I'm so excited to make the video I'm making this weekend. Uh, we're doing stuff with community. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so much fun. I honestly have not been this excited for a video ever since my you know YouTube career started. So I hope you guys are excited. It's it's gonna be a blast. It's really going to be fun. I it just it gets my blood pumping, bro. But I'll leave you with that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. From the bottom of my heart, I really love you guys. It means the world you guys watch my videos. I love making this content. So um, I'll keep putting it out, you know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much again. Peace out.